Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Susie Selleck, and today we're in Africa, Ohio. Hang with me. You're going to find out how this community came to get such an unusual name. Samuel Patterson arrived in East Orange, Ohio in 1824, and within a few years began to hide runaway slaves in his home. He also invited anti-slavery speakers to the pulpit of the East Orange Methodist Church, which brought Patterson and his neighbors into conflict with the bishop. Following their beliefs, they became Wesleyan Methodist and built a new church. A pro-slavery neighbor mocked them by calling their community Africa, and so East Orange was renamed to Africa, Ohio. In 1859, slaves from a North Carolina plantation owned by the Alston family were sent north. The plantation's mistress had disapproved of slavery and made arrangements for the slaves to travel to Ohio and freedom. These slaves moved to the community of Africa, lived in log homes, and were employed by the anti-slavery farmers and joined the Wesleyan Methodist Church. After the Civil War, the freed slaves left Africa and settled in the communities of Delaware, Westerville, Van Wert, and Paulding. The village of Africa has basically disappeared, but several homes owned by Patterson and his neighbors still stand today. Watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. Hope you enjoyed your time with us today in Africa, Ohio. Remember, travel slowly and stop often. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.